the day has finally come. Let's talk about tieflings. Why are they even called tieflings? I mean, shouldn't they be called something more like Devil's Bawn or Hell's Bawn or Fiend Children? Bawn the board game? clip it a clop clan. Devil do, devil do that. Los niños diablos. Goatmen. Flashy hell gets. Daredevil. Devil may cry? Apparently it has something to do with the German word for devil or the German word for deep. Which is tufel. Tufel does not sound like tieflings. So, tooflings. Tooflings? Thank you, Wikipedia. Uh, yeah, so... They're either tooflings or deeplings. Nine hells, this is gonna be a weird episode. But let's talk about tooflings. <clears throat> tieflings. And why they are both amazing and boring at the same time. First of all, let's get the logistics out of the way. They have all the goodies that come with not being a human in the D&D &D and Pathfinder universe. That is to say that they have super good dark vision, natural resistances to things like cold, electricity, and fire. And for some reason, they get access to spells like darkness and hellish rebuke. Could be the demon blood, but eh, I'm not 100% sure on that one. Could be the horns. Oddly enough, this is one instance where D&D and Pathfinder really diverge uh, on around the same character. While Pathfinder has the bonus stats uh, to dexterity and intelligence, they also give them a negative to the charisma, which isn't out of the ordinary for humanoid characters in Pathfinder that are housing a menagerie of unusual bits. I was talking about the horns again, but yeah, you can take it how you want. The weird part is that D&D 5e instead gives them an increase to intelligence and charisma. Which I suppose makes sense if you're going along the fiend lines, but you're also, I mean, you look fiendish. Maybe someone at Wizards has a soft spot for people with blue skin? Uh -huh. Or it could be the tail. I really don't know. I don't know what people are into these days. So while there's a definite argument about whether having extra pointy bits makes you uh, more mm, charismatic? Cool thing about tieflings is that they're supposed to look really weird. The first line in the Pathfinder Advanced Race Guide under the physical descriptions of tieflings is no two tieflings look alike. And that's hella cool. Regardless of what anything else in the book says, it's basically giving you the freedom to make your character look like whatever you want. For the most part, adding tattoos and scars and maybe the occasional eye patch to a character is pretty common when people sit down and think of how can I make this character more unique. You end up seeing a lot of the same designs when people are trying to be unique. Uh, hell, my ninja is basically just an out-of-the-box, dark-hooded, masked figure from a 90s anime. But with tieflings, they're basically giving you an archetype as a template and just letting you go to town. Hey, try to keep it mostly human, okay? Like, that's the only stipulation. It's like, you're a medium-sized creature with hair, maybe, and wings, and horns, and feet. If you want feet, you don't have to have feet. You can have hooves, you can have claws, whatever, you know, it's fine. Also, do you want wings? You don't have to. Yeah, all right, that's close enough. I'm serious. Right now, start making a tiefling. Flip open a monster manual and just start grabbing pieces of any random monster to stick onto your Mr. Potato Head of a character. What kind of horns do you have? Father was a slime demon. My horns are just goo shooting out of my head. Do you have feet or hooves? They're not feet per se, but uh, they're basically just tentacles. Is that a scorpion tail? Your character doesn't have a mouth? Oh, it's just below the... <sighs> okay, that's fine. Everything's fine. These are all legitimate. The point of tieflings is that humanity has been corrupted by a fell seed, and I really like that the name reflects that, that they're being the spawn from the lower hells, from the lower realms, the, the deep, uh, the toof, <laughs> the teeth. And that's really cool to me. So, so when I say they're boring, it's the same argument I seem to be making in a lot of these videos, and it's that I see people trying to play these traditionally monstrous creatures as humans with tattoos in a bid to be unique. If you're going to make a sexy demon boy, girl, molly mock, just really embrace it. I mean, you're making more than a character. You're basically creating your own subclass of demon. I mean, get weird with it. So thanks again for watching. Uh, this specific piece of artwork was commissioned by one of the amazing Redditors over on our character drawing and you can also check out more really cool artwork on our D&D. There's a lot of really great artists over there. You should check them out if you want a character. If you're looking for a character to get commissioned, I, I really suggest checking out the uh, the LFR, the Looking for Artist, under our character drawing. As well, as always, comments, likes, subscribes help me out a bunch so I can keep making these great videos for you. If you do want to just check out the artwork and you're more interested in the artwork, you can definitely check out the link in the comments below to the art station. I will be posting all the high-res images there um, and you can follow us on, on that. If you have a cool story with a tiefling or you have like a unique thing that you just think tieflings need to have, put it in the comment below. Like I want to hear your story. I want to hear your character. I want to hear how unique or boring you made your tiefling. And I've made a plethora of them in the past because they, they are so so weird and then something that is kind of uniquely human to imagine what a devil looks like. When you say devil, like you have that image in your head. Everyone's is going to be slightly different and that's exactly how a tiefling should be. So I want to hear what kind of weird horns you picked or weird tails or wings. Did you pick a weird color that maybe isn't so common? Let me know in the comments below. 
And uh, let's get weird out there, people. Remember, keep your dice on the table.